and Madam President, uh, I want to speak today about the series of votes that are going to be taking place this afternoon on gun rights. And I want to start off by telling a little story. It'll explain why there are some difficulties with some of the amendments that are here. I had a person in Cheyenne come to me and say, you know, I advertised a gun that I wanted to sell and uh, the guy was from southern Colorado, so he had to drive about 300 miles, but he was he was former FBI and had a concealed carry permit and he was willing to drive up to Cheyenne and wanted to do it the right way. So both of them wanted to do it the right way. The person from Colorado was willing to pay the fee for doing a gun check and uh, the person in Cheyenne arranged for a federally licensed dealer to do that. So they met at the gun store with the gun and uh, of course credentials as a former FBI agent is probably good enough to get through a gun check and uh, concealed carry permit, there's reciprocity in Wyoming for that, and uh, didn't think there'd be any problem. They looked at it, put it into the system, and got word back that he would know in five days. Well, it's a long trip to get a gun, and the person that had the gun had another one that was just like it, and he was convinced of the credentials, so they went to his house and finished the transaction, and the fellow from Colorado went home. And the fellow from Cheyenne went down to retrieve his other gun and he found out that it's now in the federal system. And so he can have a background check done on himself to get his own gun back. So there are difficulties with the, with the gun check. They are not immediate. There isn't a computer that immediately says, You're not, this, this person isn't in there, so go ahead and sell the gun. Uh, and it can be a five-day process, which for a three-day gun show can be a bit of a problem, or even a shorter one than that. So. So I, I want to talk a little more broadly about gun rights because the Senate will be voting on proposals today that affect rights not created by law, but rather ones that were created by the Constitution. It lasted a lot longer than anything that we do in this body. Wyoming is a state of gun owners. A large number of Wyoming residents grow up learning to respect and lawfully use firearms. Matter of fact, many schools and youth organizations build hunter safety and gun safety into their curriculum so that young people become familiar with the responsibilities of gun ownership at an early age. Therefore, it should be no surprise that a majority of Wyoming residents have called on me to oppose any legislation that puts additional restrictions on the freedoms they enjoy and use daily. I've been saying for some time that the bill before the Senate does not focus on the problem. There's no doubt that we need to do more to curb the senseless acts of violence that continue to occur in this country. One of the things we need are parents, <coughs> parents to be more careful and more repetitive at telling their kids that it is not right to kill people. It's not even right to, bu to bully them. And it's definitely not right for them to kill themselves. Until we can get that message across to our kids, I hope that we don't rely on a few votes by this body to make everybody feel comfortable that all the problem is taken care of. It won't be. The Senate should focus on making sure current laws are enforced. They're not. And finally, our nation and its community should be doing more to foster the idea that life has to be respected. However, the problem with several of the proposals that we voted on today is that they add programs to track records of failure. Additionally, I oppose limiting the right of gun owners to transfer their firearms to their neighbor or loan hunting rifles to their family members. The underlying bill the Senate's debating would restrict that right in many areas and would only make gun ownership more burdensome on lawful citizens. My colleagues in other states may not realize this, but in Wyoming, guns are not used just for self-defense and recreation. They're a tool. Ask the rancher who uses a rifle to defend livestock from predation, or the outfitter who uses a gun to protect clients in the back country. Firearms do have everyday uses in Wyoming. Sometimes it's necessary to transfer or loan a gun to a nephew, a niece, or an employee. But under what's being considered, that right may be severely infringed. I do not condone acts of gun violence. I'm a father and a grandfather and will do everything I can to keep guns out of the wrong hands. However, I'm not willing to infringe on the constitutional right of lawful gun owners when the laws already designed to protect us are being unenforced. 
I yield the floor and suggest the absence of a quorum.